Welcome back to Shadowrun. Uh, we're down in the bar, just talking to Lucky Strike. I don't think we've finished this. Uh... Oh. Wow, okay. Never mind then. Apparently, because I ended the conversation we had before, she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Not like I said anything. It was just like, we'll talk later, and now she doesn't want to talk. All right, well... That's cool. Thanks for giving me the heads up, game. Well, in that case, um, I don't think we have anything left to do. I think we better get going over to... Well, you guys don't have anything new, right? There's no way. I think I think that's done. All right, uh, let's go down to the Yuvon station, and I think we're just gonna get going to uh, the Mark IV prototype or Mark VI. Wait, Mark VI, not IV. Um, well. Yeah, I, I know I'm going to keep saying it, but I still don't understand why we take, why anyone would take the mer the mercenaries. It just seems wasteful and disjointed from the typical narrative. Uh, yeah, I don't feel the need to bring Iger. Um, I think we're going to be good here. I mean, I, the problem is Iger just doesn't bring enough utility to the team. It's not even like, I don't even have a necessarily have a, the vendetta against her I did at the beginning. It's just, she just doesn't have any extra special features. She's just a worse version of me. Although she does have more hit points. Uh, and she does have... Yeah, but what... So quickness and HP, plus to hit, and that does nothing. So she's just me with more health, basically. That's and and no, no shaman abilities. That's very underwhelming. Mark six, monolithic, plastic. Sterile. The Berlin office of AG Chemie Group is all of these things and more. The worst qualities of modern corporate culture all mixed into a toxic stew and sluiced into a single prefab office building. Thankfully, you shouldn't have to stay long. According to the intel that your client provided, this should be a simple smash and grab operation, and you've been given the tools to carry it out with minimum of fuss. The Mark VI prototype, whatever it is, is waiting for you on the 25th floor. It's time to go and get it. Uh, don't think I'm going to switch out the rifle. Yeah, I think we're good. Unless anybody else wants to carry anything. Oh, I could give you a shotgun. Yeah, fuck it. Give you a shotgun for those weird in-between things. Why not? That amuses me. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, I know, but I can't. I only have two karma. I can't spend it on anything. I mean, I could spend it on some random thing, but no. Reach the 25th floor, shut down building security. Well, time to scope the place out a little bit. How did we get in? Which door did we use? Corridor, shipping crates. 
These crates have been sealed. The only visible markings are Project Atlas. Uh, send this to your stash. Should probably start remembering to leave a slot open, but six of one, half dozen of the other, ultimately. I'd still be carrying four healing packs. Um, all right. After a few months of sifting through cables, you find a diagnostic connector with the right input to fit the little black box, little black box that Herr Schmidt gave you. Plug in the little black box. The connector slips into the box with a satisfying click. A tiny red light set into the box's lid begins flashing. After a few seconds, it turns solid yellow, and then finally shifts to green. At that instant, all of the lights in the garage turn off. A few seconds later, the emergency lighting kicks in. If what Schmidt told you was true, you've just killed the main power for most of the building. In theory, the box is also circ... That was real weird. Had a hard time reading that for a second. The box has also circumvented the security cameras in on the building's upper floors. You should be able to intercept the camera feeds by tapping into an elevator console on the 24th floor. Handy little thing. All right, team, let's go. I mean, trusting the mission on a literal black box, let alone a figurative one, and one sourced by some random thing. I mean, I know we're shadow runners and we take lots of risks and things like that, but that sounds like a questionable questionable risk to take. Ah, oh, here we go. Without warning, your comlink screen bursts into static. You hear a telltale series of clicks. Someone has established an audio connection to your comlink. Oh dear. Uh, a moment later, a deep sonorous voice speaks into your ear. You recognize it instantly. Your lodge contact, Luca Dewar. Alice, do not speak. Just listen. I have a proposition for you. I understand that your team is currently en route to receive a package. The Mark VI prototype, if I'm not mistaken. My associates in, are, and I are interested in acquiring the Mark VI for our own studies. We would like you to deliver the device to us. Once you've acquired the Mark VI, you'll proceed back to the garage as planned. There you will find a transport parked, between, parked beside your client's van. Load the Mark VI into the transport and you will be rewarded. Herr Schmidt will also be dealt with to protect you from reprise reprisal. To accept our offer, simply proceed as instructed and return the prototype to us. Please note that we need the Mark VI in undamaged condition. If it is not in full working order, it is useless to us. As you know, our organization takes good care of its friends. It would be to your advantage to help us. Good day. The line goes dead with a click. A moment later, the sound of your teammate's calm chatter floods back into your ears. I am kind of curious what they have to say about it. I, I've i already more or less decided not to go with it unless the game gives me a really good narrative reason to check it out. Hey, hold up a second. Let's stop short. What's going on, Chief? I just got a comm from a contact of mine. His organization wants the Mark VI for themselves and they're offering a lot of money to make that ha for us to make that happen. Wait, they're offering us a lot of money to make that happen. This contact of yours, boss, we talking about who I think we're talking about? That depends on who you think we're talking about. The organization that we discussed a little while back, the big scary one, the one that I told you not to take money from. Yeah, that's who we're talking about. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. And now they've got you on their leash with us alongside you. What's he talking about? His brow furrows. I don't know, boss. I don't like anyone telling tell me what to do. I say I want to say to hell with them and leave it at that. But this is the Black Lodge we're talking about. If they want something from us, it might just be best to give it to them. Alice, just what have you got us into? It's a long story. Just trust me. I'll get us through this. I'll back you, Chief, no matter what you choose to do. But I, for one, hope that you take the offer. We still have a dragon to deal with. We need resources more than we need Herr Schmidt to like us. And if this contact of yours has access to those resources, well, you do the math. He shrugs. 
I don't like that. I sort of wish they would speak up more about it. They do give their opinions, but they're not particularly strong. I suppose that's trying not to make you lean one way or the other. Um, on the other hand, I don't feel like this game, for all its generally excellently writ written dialogue, gives a huge amount of variability to your dialogue options to the point that it would... Like... For better or for worse, it's no, you know, Bioware dialogue. It's no Paragon Renegade or or Light Side Dark Side. It's um it's pretty it's pretty gray, and that's consistent with the 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 setting, but it's also a little I don't know. I, I do kind of I, I don't I definitely wouldn't want it to stray into the area of just um people giving opinions for opinion's sake it's funny that i bring up bioware because now i'm thinking about like uh various bioware characters throughout various franchises and games um that are just annoying as fuck because they will not shut up about their opinion on what you're doing and you, you just want to scream i'm running the show if you open your mouth again i'm just gonna shoot you uh, <laughs> anyway i have strong feelings about some of those characters that bioware has made um so this, I, 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 you know, I, I do like some of the stronger dialogue I've gotten from some of the folks. I've talked about how I think there was a, the, the episode where I wanted Glory to give me a stronger, like, just kill him. He's super evil, please. Um, but yeah, I can see from a narrative standpoint, standpoint both not wanting to railroad things too hard not wanting to overwrite a bunch of content or write a bunch of content twice um, and also not seem to yeah just just not like not lead the character too much towards a particular decision um, yeah, anyway okay um, I think on the next episode we will we'll go upstairs. I think unless something comes up, I'm really not planning on dealing with the lodge, but we'll see. We'll see you guys then.